So when you look at most high level scores, even if they have kind of a one motion shot from the three point line a little bit further back, most times when they get into the mid range, they're just inherently gonna change their shot, right? You typically have more momentum, it's a closer shot. You typically have defenders a little bit closer and contesting those shots. So again, most times what you'll see is as I get into a mid range shot, typically have to elevate a little bit higher. I have to raise my release point a little bit and I'm probably going to shoot more of a two motion shot. So even if I have personally myself, I have the ultimate one motion shot. So I'll catch and it's just straight up towards the basket when I'm in that mid range. And again, this goes for most high level players and players in general. When they get in that mid range, they have to raise that release point, shoot more of a two motion shot. So I want to get you guys comfortable with that, especially in the mid range. I think a lot of players try to stick with their regular jump shot, so to speak, and this can hurt them. This can cause them to get way too much power. This can cause them to get blocked. This can cause just an overall lack of confidence in their mid-range shot. So I'm going to get you comfortable with elevating, shooting over defenders. Even if you're not the bounciest player in the world, I think this is a huge skill to have. Let's check it out. So first drill here is going to be crazy simple, but it's just getting you used to shooting shots, mid-range shots with a little bit higher elevation. So you're starting anywhere you want on the court, basically dropping that ball to myself so I don't have to worry about it. I'm taking two steps into it and as high as I can jumping up through the ball and getting into that shot. So again, with jumping as high as you can, you're going to have to slightly adjust that shot a little bit. You'll find yourself kind of shooting two motion shot, a little bit higher set point. That's exactly what we want. And even if it's uncomfortable at first, I want you to push through it and get used to it. Second one here, you can freestyle into it. So however you want to get into the mid range, that's up to you, pick and roll, ISO one drill pull up whatever the main key here is that along with moving spots and how you're getting into the shot i want you to think about varying the depth from what you shoot so maybe one time you're popping up off the ground without bending your knees much the next time you're really kind of sinking into this jump bending your knees getting to a lower position and jumping from there one time you're in the middle of that so by depth i mean the amount of knee bend that you're getting into the shot with Every single time I want it to be a little bit different, but still trying to elevate as high as you can into the shot. So last one here, we're going to add a little bit of rotation, a little bit of moving laterally into it. So I'm starting on the elbow here. From there, I'm pushing out, kind of throwing the ball out in front of me, trying to get at least two or outside of this opposite elbow. From there, obviously, I'm gonna have to kind of turn and rotate in mid air um, with that mid range shot. That's the goal, right? I want you to get used to not only jumping up, but also rotating a little bit, having to deal with fading a little bit, right? When you're dealing with heavy defense, heavy contest, there are times where you just ultimately have to do that. So I want to get you used to doing this. Again, pushing out as far as you can, rotating as late as you can into the shot, but also maintaining that elevation through that jumper. So this can definitely be a tough quality to train, especially for players who are a little bit less athletic. Obviously, I'm not the most athletic player in the world, but I will say I've worked really hard just over the course of uh, my playing career, so to speak, to get comfortable shooting at the top of the jump when I'm coming down. And that's opened up a lot of opportunities, not only for myself, but for players that I train and being able to elevate, to adjust in midair, and ultimately score from the mid range a lot better. So is this a quality that you absolutely need in your game? Maybe not, but I do think with how the game's becoming way more athletic, higher speeds, this is something that you have to add if you want to make sure the mid range game is a big part of your game. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at By Any Means Basketball for a lot more and stay tuned for more like this.